fans of British cycling gathered for the 2019 HSBC UK National Track Championships last weekend to see their heroes battle it out for the coveted national jerseys. They also saw several records set, including Scotsman John Archibald in the men's individual pursuit. Afterwards, John said that he's feeling good going into next month's World Championship. We the way training has been going, racing has been going in the team pursuits of the World Cups. I've been very you know, optimistic coming into this race. And uh, I know the form was there, it's just a case of getting the right conditions on the day, the right legs on the day, and everything clicking together. And um, it's, half, it's normally quite a rare thing for everything to click like that. And just recently I've had a good run of events, and hopefully that run continues leading up towards World Championships in February. Four-time Olympic champion Laura Kenny took gold in the women's scratch race after fending off competition from fellow Olympic champions Katie Archibald and Elder Barker. Kenny, competing in her first national championship since 2015, said that it was good to be back. I was saying earlier, I think people think, oh, she must think it's just the national championships, but it's not. To me, racing in front of a home crowd, getting to compete for a national jersey, it's what it's all about, you know. Six-time Olympic champion and the joint most decorated Olympian in British history, Jason Kenny, claimed the national jersey in the men's Kieran after a photo finish with Jack Carlin. Kenny was full of praise for Carlin after being pushed the whole way. He's our best sprinter at the minute, there's no doubt about it. You know, he's silver medalist in the sprint at the Worlds last year, um, medalist in the Kieran as well at the Europeans and at the uh, and some World Cups, so, you know, he's, there's no doubt about it. That, um, he's our current ben benchmark. Some of these athletes will now turn their attentions to the World Championships in Poland next month as the countdown to Tokyo 2020 continues. Ollie Thorpe, Salford Mark.